Hey there everybody and welcome back to another video where we are going to be walking through some really exciting additions to make to your website. Whether you don't know HTML, you do know HTML, doesn't really matter. This is going to be a really cool feature that could add value to your website and potentially your company. So before we get started, don't forget to like and subscribe and check out the channel for new content. All right, so we're going to jump straight in. I have my website Codeless Fix set up here. I have a test page that I will basically be taking down in between videos if I don't need it. And the app that we're going to be adding is actually going to be a chat function. So the idea here, we'll walk through how it actually works, but it's incredibly easy not only to use, but to add. And the best part is there is a free option. So first thing we're going to do, because everyone always asks about pricing, is we are going to go over pricing first. I don't want you to waste time watching the video if it doesn't work for you. So this is something called Zoho Sales IQ. They offer tons of different options. So it's kind of cool that you not only have the chatbot option, you have a CRM, campaigns, all these other cool things. But for right now, we're just going to keep it at Sales IQ. So what you get in the free tier is three operator licenses, one brand, you get visitor insights, 100 chat sessions a month, and although some people may think that's a little bit low, it is actually on the cheaper end compared to some of the other options I've seen out there. And then you'll note you have mobile SDK, credit card masking, and a bunch of other really cool options as well. Now, the paid plans are where you actually start to scale up. The way that I look at this is you aren't required to enter in a credit card when you sign up. And if you get 100 chat sessions a month, it's worth it in my opinion because typically if you need more than that, you're probably going to be making enough money from this feature or you should be to actually benefit from it. Otherwise, you just don't need to use it. So, um, and I don't mean for it to sound like you don't need to use it at all. I just don't think you need to use it more than 100 times a month uh, because you're probably not going to find too many options out there. Now, if you have an option in mind that you want me to do a review of, feel free to drop it in the comment box below, or if you found a cheaper option, let me know. So jumping straight in, this is really quick and easy to use and set up. So what we will do is we're gonna do a live view really quickly because I want you to see how this actually works. They do have a mobile app, which I love, and you can set the app up to call you or give you a push notification when users visit the site or do certain interactions. So let's see how this works we are going to put two pages side by side. We will put the live view over here, and then we will put my website over here on the left-hand side. We're gonna click here, and we're gonna start chatting, and then we'll start typing a message like, hey. So when this gets sent, you have the option to say, how would you like to be addressed? We'll skip this, and then we'll skip this, because I just wanna chat, so we'll pick up, and you'll see that we can now type back and forth. And the two windows are now effectively chatting with each other. So it's actually really cool that you can engage with different users. And it actually rang on my phone as well. And I'm able to see the chat. So I'll actually do some typing off screen. So what I'll do is this is I'll type this out. I'll type out this is from my phone and you'll see that it's actually sending through as well. So just wanted to walk you through what that looks like. I think it's a really, really cool option. And then you can hit the power button, determine you know what your feedback was, type out feedback if you want to, email the transcript. So as you can see, it's very, very powerful for free and it looks aesthetically pleasing. I mean, overall, I really enjoy this widget. So in order to install it, first thing you need to do is head over to Zoho Sales IQ. So you can see the URL in the top. I signed up for a fake account because I don't wanna share the HTML code for my actual site. So what you do when you first sign up, so you can actually type this in and then obviously minus the last half. So if we were just to type this in here, we'll go into a new incognito tab and it's still gonna log me into my account, but basically there would be a form that you would fill out with some basic information. And then when you log in, this is the code that you're gonna need. You can copy this code and insert it into, most web editors will have either an HTML code per page, or you can insert it directly into the head slash body tags. Most editors, they have this option to insert code into every page. So you're going to put it into 
as you can see here above the closing body tag. And basically once that code is copied in and you publish the changes, that's really all that there is to it. You'll be able to go view your chats. If you need to access that code at a later date or time, then you can actually, so you usually get pop-ups saying get code now, but you do also have the option to go to your settings. And then from within settings, you can go to brands. And then in brands, you can typically click in here and you'll be able to see the different settings and options. So you can click in and view installation, We'll click on personalization really quickly. You'll see the different options. So you can set it up to have a call and a chat option or chat only, which I prefer. You can add in the stickers, change the appearance, the knowledge base, etc. And then the installation, you can see the different options here. And if we just go to website, you have that HTML code and then the how to video. So overall, I think it's pretty easy, pretty self-explanatory. And again, most web editors, they'll have an option when you go to your website settings and you can typically go into your integrations. And then when you're in your integrations page, you'll typically have a custom code section that allows you to insert custom HTML code basically all over the site. That way it'll display in all of your different pages. So I hope that was helpful. If you have any questions, drop them in the comment box below and I'll put some links in the uh, basically in the description to walk through some other HTML widgets that I think may be useful for you. I'll see you all in the next video.